Well, it started a couple of years ago uh, when we had heard about sensory-friendly events at some of the malls, uh, and we uh, heard that it was a great success, uh, but that it was kind of overwhelming for some of the families. So we decided uh, to start our own kind of more sensory-friendly, a little bit of a more organized uh, program for, for some of these children who can't deal with uh, some of the sensory overload issues you will have at a mall, such as bright lights and, and crowds. We were approached by a mutual friend who's also an attorney, Louis Vieira, about three and a half years ago after there was a local Santa event geared towards children on the autism spectrum and there was such an overwhelming demand for it that they weren't able to fully assist all the children that showed up. They actually were flooded with requests and we realized that this was something that we could do. We we're both families with children on the spectrum and we've been very blessed with what we've been able to provide for our kids and we thought that this was a way that we could give back to the community. Um, a lot of the things that we take for granted, and that includes Christmas, basic Christmas cultural events, are inaccessible to these families. So I wanted to make these accessible. I think it's one step of one of the many steps that need to be taken to accommodate families of children with special needs. I especially enjoy the people around me that volunteer to help uh, with the children that, that have autism, and it's an excellent opportunity for them to get an opportunity to see Santa. There's a, a huge issue about whether they can go into the malls and things, and and because of the crowds of people. So this gives a chance to kind of bring Santa to them and it's a great opportunity, something that I was unaware of, of being an issue up until a few years ago. And uh, I enjoy coming to this event every year and hopefully we'll continue to do so. You're not going to have that long one or two hour, three hour waiting line like you usually have. Instead, you're going to have a very short, narrowly tailored time that is actually uh, a scheduled time. started with a small kernel of an idea and it has just blossomed into something so beautiful. The Sensory Friendly Stand event has grown over the last three years. The very first year our goal was really just to get the information out into the community so that other families were made aware that we had this event every year. I believe Enrique enjoyed it. It was different for him. We haven't done this in a very long time so I think he handled the situation very well. She just did such a great job with Santa today. I've never seen her actually go up and sit on his lap before. And she no, did. usually she would be just melting down by now, but she's enjoying herself. She got a pretty little castle, and she's, uh, she's she having a lot of fun. Yeah. She actually said his name. She said his name, which is uh, we don't think we've ever heard before. This is our third year attending Sensory Santa. We heard about it first in 2011. Uh, I actually saw it on Baby's Night when I was working downtown at a law firm downtown and saw that because I was working at a law firm and we've enjoyed it three years in a row. The mall, uh, they have a Sensitive Santa there too and it's not nearly as nice as this event. First year we had about 70 kids. There was limited publicity for it. Last year we had about 150 kids and this year we're expected about 170 kids. We actually had to cut off the list because it's got to stay sensory friendly. So it's grown, but more importantly is, is the repeat business we get. Uh, we've had some of the same families come year after year after year. Um, we also do have some crafts and arts and crafts tables and things so that we can kind of keep the children busy um, before and after they see Santa if they're interested in that. Yeah, the Santa event is kind of our, our, our flagship event every year uh, and it's a lot of fun for us and for the families uh, but kind of the more serious side of what we do is we try to raise funds in order to fund um, therapy, grants for therapies uh, for certain families. As a matter of fact we just approved uh, two more families uh, just this last week uh, and these are therapies that have been uh, approved uh, that have been shown to actually help uh, children overcome and, and deal with, uh, with some of the issues that, that comes with being on the autism spectrum. We now do different fundraisers throughout the year so that we can raise money for families that are in need of autism approved therapies. 
Um, as of right now, we do offer families in the area grants that allow for applied behavior analysis therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. So it's really grown during the last three years. We also have expanded our program just beyond the Sensory Friendly Santa event and now also offer to help pay for grants for families that need financial assistance with some approved autism therapies. Hi, I'm John McCloskey, founder of Orion Wealth Designers. Kids need Santa. Families of children with autism need him more than ever. So please join me to help bring Century Friendly Santa to Pinellas County in 2014. Bye -bye.